the first English settlers in Massachusetts, the Pilgrims, arrived at the ship named Mayflower at Plymouth. Plymouth was the second successful permanent English colony after the Jamestown colony. Many of the Pilgrims came for the needed purification of the English church or harassment of English authority and wished to continue living in an ideal religious society. They believe in total separation of the church and to live their way for God. This shaped the current America by the political foundation of self-government and being self-sufficient with beliefs to guide that direction. No, this place is nice. It's it's very, a good colony. Very long boat ride. Yes. We claim this land for England. For England. The first winter was hard. I think we're running out of food. Oh, I guess that's fine. Oh, shit. I think we're gonna die. We don't have any food. The pilgrims soon had a somewhat successful what? season of food and had a feast with the natives known as Thanksgiving. It's me, banana. It's food. Eat it. Though the pilgrims had a peaceful encounters with the natives, the expansion of Massachusetts angered the natives. Oh, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop! What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Say you motherfucker. This led to the Pequot War in 1637, where nearby colonists teamed up against the natives in defending the colonists' aggressive expansion at the natives' expense. Oh my god! What Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn her! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Holy shit! <laughs> Instead of forest fire. <laughs> burn the witch! Burn her! That's what you get. Oh, I'm respecting God! Many hearings and persecutions of people accused women of doing witchcraft in Massachusetts. This was one of America's most notorious act of mass hysteria. This tale tells America of the warning in isolation, extremism, and false accusations. <laughs>